All right, so the whole thing started like this. I always drink my two cups of coffee in the morning. I play PUBG every morning. And it seems like people run around the corner and shoot me before they even run around the corner and I'm dead. So I didn't know what to do about it. So I figured I must be lagging pretty bad. So <clears throat> what I did was I went upstairs to where the, uh, the new the cable modem is. Here's the modem. Right there. The cable modem was, and I traced it all the way back to the cable, and I kept finding these little splitters in line. There were three splitters. So then I, I Googled it to find out that uh, every time you split a cable, you're halving the bandwidth. Uh, I believe that's correct. Um, there's probably some technical guy who can explain it better than that, but you lose decibels, whatever that means. Anyway, uh, so each time you split one, like this, each one of these now are negative uh, 3.5 decibels, and then, but this one splits one, and then it takes the other side of it and it splits it again. So this one's 3.5, these two are minus seven, minus 3.5, minus seven. So what I did was, because I was tired of actually uh, losing my video here, I, uh, I went ahead and did a direct feed. So this one right here, this block is all the televisions. And then this one right here is straight to the modem. And I have it run, you can see, it's all the way along the little poopy pipe here. All the way out here. And then, well, I still gotta clean that up. It goes up into the floor. There, and then there's the guest bedroom and all that kind of other crap. So, um, but there you go. So, Go upstairs and look at it. Um, before you start any project, you gotta be ready to do like everything. So I put this on a what do you call this thing? Wall mount, wall mount. There you go. I put the wall mount that runs through from down here behind the cabinets, which I still have. Yes, I have to vacuum it out. I know. And then uh so I'm gonna run the Ethernet cables through the house through here, and that goes up the, an old shaft that's in the closet. Behind that wall over there, there's a hidden shaft. I probably shouldn't have said that. Now it's not hidden. Uh, and that's basically it. So I'll clean all this stuff up, put a cover over that. That runs up here. And then I have a direct cat, well, I have cat by E running to the Xbox. And it turns out it didn't make me any better. I still lose. <laughs> So the cable modem is Xfinity, and it's the one that basically says that you get free, or not free, nothing's free, unlimited uh, data if you use their modem. And then it has this thing where it shares to everybody, so they're building this in infrastructure so that if you have Xfinity, you can use everybody else's Wi-Fi modem. But um, we disconnected that. But anyway, the whole point is that uh, Cherry, Cherry, that's my name, Cherry Bomb is. Uh, is streaming in that room right there and so uh we had to get him the best feed all right cat. so we're going to do a cat six from that modem downstairs that we just showed you up to his room so it's a direct feed and now it's got two cat six uh, feeds out of the back of the other one we're going to run up here you can see this pile of nonsense where i have this old linksys a EA8500 and we're going to use that as a switch so that'll go through the walls and basically just like this so here's the cable into the house that's that little splitter uh, that we initially talked about and the one side the minus 3.5 decibel feed goes to this and then the other side uh, it goes to the television you know that's a television box that's extra but it's actually split into three because we have three boxes so and then this has a feed comes here goes to uh, Cheery Bomb's computer, super computer, you can backdoor pin it around. I think I heard this, yeah, whatever, don't say that out loud. And then the other feed comes over here, hey Boots. And uh, basically it uh, splits in that wall up there in the attic, comes down the wall to the uh, old modem, the, what do you call that, uh, switch. We're using it as a switch. And then, of course, everything upstairs will be on the Wi-Fi for this because it's a better feed. It doesn't have to go through walls. And then everything downstairs will be 
screw the other one. Now I know that's not the greatest server in the world, but it serves our purposes. These things right here, they're USOC. Right here, if you look at the back, you yeah, won't find that online, by the way. USOC. Um, it should say Cat 5 or Cat 6 or whatever, but right there. If it says USOC, it's apparently it's a telephone. And the dead giveaway here is because it's got two wires, not four, not eight. It's just two wires. So I will cut all this junk off, and this is actually Cat 5E. Um, it would be nice if it was Cat 6, but really, uh, I would never realize the difference. So we're going to cut all that off, and we're going to put one connector right there. There's another one running through the wall on the other side. We're going to feed it in here as well, so we'll have two. One going, one coming from the modem downstairs, and one going back to the modem from my Xbox, because that's the important thing here. That's the takeaway. And then I'll have another one that comes from here and goes back to that room where I stole the wire. That way, it switched this room, my computer over here, and then Ian's computer over here, and then uh, that's it. Alright, so we already have two uh, Cat 6 cables that are 100 feet long each. Uh, I believe they're Cat 6, they may be 5 feet. Um, we need about 40 foot of them, so they'll be spooled up and zip tied up somewhere hidden out of the way. But uh, we only really need about 50 feet. But we need three lines, so this is our third one. You'll see, it is a Cat 5E patch cable. Now, um, obviously, there are better cables out there. This one was eighteen dollars, nineteen, twenty dollars, something like that, from Lowe's. Uh, I would just get it on Amazon or eBay or something like that. It would be a lot less expensive, but my time's worth something, right? Anyway, so this will go into the wall as well, right? Do this one too. All right, so uh, Jordan's room, we were just going to do the one single cable, but then we decided that since we found this secret passage in the house, uh, we're going to put in a server in that secret passage at some point in the future with hidden doors and hidden switches and levers and be all Harry Potter up. And, anyway, so we're going to put this on his wall so he will have access to that by whichever way he wishes to do it. All right. There you go. Take measure, raise your knife, and hey, look. Pencil. All right, what are we doing in here? What is this? What? This thing. It's a Rainbow Six Siege. Installing this. If you look over here, you'll see that was the cable, and that's four. I wish they were um, Cat 6 and Cat 5 or whatever, but they're not. They're actual telephone. So they use the Cat 5 E cable. Just like downstairs. Just like it's got the four connections on the Cat 5 wire. That's right. That's it. I wish that that's what we needed, but that's not what we needed. And because there's a Cat 5 in there and it's stapled and all that, we'd have to run something through the wall. We're not doing that. We found a chase. We've already talked about it. So, we're going to put it right there. And we're putting in that triple gain. Because even though we only need one wire in the future, maybe it leads us to have something different. So, now what we're going to do is we're just going to cut all. approximately the same distance. It really doesn't matter because nobody's going to be underneath you. I know there are some contractors right now who are rolling in their grave. Oh my god, it doesn't matter. It's got to be to an eighth of an inch. No, no, actually it doesn't. Uh, so that's, what was that? 11 and four and a half. See how close that is. That's four and a quarter. So we're going to go 11 and right figure out the quicker way. Right? There it is. Not nothing left but to cut it out. Alright. 
for those of you out there who know about drywall knives, yes, we know about them too. Drywall saws, sorry, we know about them too. They also make a really big mess. Knives, not so much. This takes a little bit longer to do it. But uh, this is not actually supposed to be a construction video, but we'll tell. So there is a little bit of a mess. It's not too bad. And we could be like all the other construction workers and just drop it back behind the wall. And you could just sit back there forever. Nobody cares. Nobody will ever see it. Quite perfect, but again, it should be good enough. All you have to do now is you just take this and you tighten it. And by tightening it, it causes this thing to swing around into the up position, like so. And then that tightens like that as it draws it in, and it holds this against the drywall. Don't want to over tighten it because it wonk makes everything wonky. You know, it's just plastic. So. See how it starts to twist the, the frame? If you notice it does that, whatever your hand turns on, and just loosen it just a little bit so it, it doesn't warp the edge of that. Because it might not matter to you now, but when you're trying to install these little things, whatever you're putting in there to cover, it'll, it'll, uh, it'll be a problem then. Um, don't worry about the little edges and nicks and stuff. The cover plate will cover all this. That's it. Easy enough. So, here we go. This is the air conditioning unit right here. This is one of them. All right. So, there's one directly underneath this downstairs. So, this is uh, the shaft. And as you can see, um, somewhere in here. Yeah, I can't find it. I found it earlier. If you look back here, um, heck, I don't know. Oh, there it is. All right. So see the see the white pipe back there. Here, I'll turn on some light for you. All right. You see that cable coming out right there? That's the way they ran it. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to find that cable, and then we're going to run our Ethernet cable, uh, two of them, the one coming and going to the other motor box down here through the floor to the other air conditioning unit. I think that's right. Anyway, so that's how we're doing that. So maybe in your house there's something similar to it. I don't know. You gotta get creative and that's just the as far as where you're gonna put the stuff. Or you can just drill a hole right through the floor. You have the wire running up and it can be like a feature, you know, in your house you can say watch the cable. Crawl space. Ladder. Okay, so I've got two ladders. You might have more than two ladders. I only have two ladders. I got a six foot ladder and I got an eight foot ladder. The problem with the eight foot ladder is that's about seven foot eleven. So eight foot ladder pushes that up. It's it's real cumbersome. It's hard to get in here. So you're gonna get to see some gymnastics here in a minute. Um, getting into there. But uh, here's the center of the house, and this is where the beam is that you will see us walking up and down this way. And then that secret shaft is actually behind this closet. So if you see the closet, yes, it's the yoga stuff. My wife does yoga. If you look behind that closet and you look at the bathroom here, you'll see that the shower is much deeper. So actually, there's a secret shaft right here. It's just hollow. It goes straight from the ceiling. Downstairs, somebody replaced the air conditioning system in here before. 
and they terminated that uh, ductwork. Now it's a big, huge shack, and it is right on a Cherry Bomb's wall. It's like literally, he's got a little secret passage behind us. He could maybe put one of those fire engine, like, what do you call those things? Fire pole? Just open the door, jump on it, right down in your car, whatever. All right, let's go. Into the attic. Probably be better if I had that on my head. They probably need to see that you've got that on, on your head. Right? It'd be like dirty jobs. So you got two types of insulation in here. One's cellulose, and the other one is uh, <coughs> spray in insulation. Let me get that light switch. My wife's gonna kill me. I didn't put down a tarp or anything before I did this. That's what vacuum cleaners are for. <coughs> As you can tell, um, construction workers don't really care about nice and neat, so that's how they usually do stuff. So. To civilize human beings, we uh, I don't know if I, if you remember me saying earlier, they ran all new duct work. I don't know who did it, like I said, but somebody did. This is all the new ductwork. All the old ductwork's terminated and laying off on the side. I'll get up here at some point and pull all that stuff out. But the reason I mentioned that is because now I can show you that shaft, that secret hidden shaft. So, no comments about the old man breathing heavy. All right. So, see the old ductwork here? Well, there's another piece right here that was just, you could see where the cellulose that was blowing around it. It's just laying. So, I couldn't see the hole there. But then, I kind of saw the corner of it, the edge of it. And I was like, what the hell is that? So, I moved it out of the way. And sure enough, look at that right there. That is some that is some Harry Potter looking stuff right there. See the they even have the the wall board cut out on this side. Why would they do that? Why would they cut the wall board? Well, out it on is one it side? is cut out. Why? Uh, right. Were they planning on putting a room in here? I don't know. I I mean I could put a little like wall shelf built-in thing on the outside which i'm probably going to do and then you can open it up like so on this side do right a sliding here, door in the hall oh, well it'll be a, it'll be a, a shelf like you put knickknacks and stuff on mm -hmm. a hinge shelf the secret switch and you hit that switch slide the thing out and all the server equipment will be back there for the easy access but for today we didn't bring it did we <laughs> we're gonna run your cable there run it right down there and then we'll anything we don't use we'll zip tie it right here <coughs> and then the other part will come down this way follow me I like how they conveniently put these things stepping distance that was nice of them I'm sure that's what they were thinking Uh, not a shout out it's the exact opposite of a shout out this is to whoever the construction workers are who decided that they wanted my cat 5 cable for their house um what was the purpose in them cutting that off i don't know there you go 
that is what we're going to splice that into. And then on the other side, <clears throat> we're going to splice another, I forget what they're called. They're called something, uh, some kind of jack. They're the female end of the Cat 5, 5E, 5, 6, Cat, all that cat stuff. Cat 3, it's the, uh, the female end of that. Anyway, well, like, you know, a phone jack looking thing. Anyway, we're going to put one there, and we're going to put one here, and then one on the other side of those cables, and then we'll have a way of getting those cables. But once those cables are plugged in here, I think I already mentioned all this, we are going to, you know, it'd be a very interesting video if I fall through the ceiling, but I get a lot more hits. That's part of the old duct work, right? Yeah. That they just left up here? Yep, yeah, because they weren't paid to remove it probably. Or who knows what? Who knows? All I know is I've built these before. Ow. Okay. A little bit of blood. Is that, can we get a couple more hits? <laughs> Remember what I was telling you about? That's that duckwork just laying up here. That's all our electricity going on. Here. You can see on here. Alright. <clears throat> I should have moved this stuff before we started video recording, but too late now. Let me get you to do it. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> There we go. And it looks like it looks like I have found the best way. Now you know, just like a true construction worker, I'm sitting here looking at this thing going, this used to be attached to something probably went through the roof there so I've probably got an old I've probably got an issue going on up there right now but I'll worry about that later but it makes me wonder what's this that's here we're going to run those cables down here and then over there where I said we're going to splice those in and um that's it we'll show you when we're done piece of metal it must have poked right in there. Damn, it hurts. Tiny. No, I'm not gonna. It's a little minor thing, but look at that. It just it hooked in there. Yeah, the little bastard hurt. It's like a, like a little bee sting or some crap. Better not put that on the internet. I used to be tough. All right, we'll do the left side. This side. So the bigger loops, <coughs> the bigger loops, <coughs> they um, uncoil easier. They don't tear up your liners bad either. The tight, sharp angles on this, they ruin the, the continuity. That's the word I'm looking for. It doesn't matter which one does what. Uh, oh, you know what? It does matter. So to avoid the confusion, we'll do exactly like cherry bombs did. We'll run one of these cherry bombs. These, by the way, are 5E. 5E cables, 100 feet. Um, I don't think 100 feet, 50 feet is going to make that big of a difference. And if it does, we'll get cat sick and we'll run it special. Um, but for confusions, or to avoid confusion, we're going to run a gray.
gray one and the white one simultaneously down the pipe in the air conditioning conduit jam the, the mechanical room that way when we plug them in at the end we can go okay the white one's a feed two and the gray one's feed from the pipe or whatever we want so here we go Okay, look back here at what we have right there. What a rat's nest of wire. Doesn't that look great? All right, so what we're gonna do, make life simple, is we're gonna grab all that stuff, pull it out into the hole, and then we're gonna feed it back in. So. Just like so. Hopefully that's going to stack on anything. It does. That's going to be fun. And it did. Here you go. This is the uh, this is the first air condition. And back here, there's the pipe. We're going to run it down. Do this all over again. Down next to the second air condition. But at least it's nice and cool in here. Oh, one thing to keep in mind when you do this, guys. Alright, so this right here. See how this came all rolled up like that. If it snags on something back there and you try to tug on it real hard, you're gonna pinch that and it's gonna cause that to crimp. And once that crimps, it uh, damages the integrity of the line and you may have a degraded continuity as a result. It's not like I'm smart, it doesn't. I don't know what that means, but that's what I read on the internet. So there's more than me. Anyway, there you go. So we're gonna go ahead and do the next one. You take it back here like this, it may snag on that. It, that's just going to cause you a big problem. So you want to tape it nice and smooth. And I'll show you when it's all taped up. Yeah. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> and you can put more tape on it if you want. I think that's going to be good enough. Uh, you don't want to put too little tape on it. Because then if it does come undone. <sighs> problems. Just problems. So what we're going to do is we're going to feed that back down there and pull it from the other end and that should pull right on through. Once we pulled it through, we'll do that with the gray wire as well. So that's two wires down. And of course we'll have to do it with the other one from George's room if we can't find that secret passage all the way through. So let's go. I found it. I got my uh, redneck ladder. Everybody needs a redneck ladder. And there we go. something. Apparently the hole that it was going through. Oh, what do you got? I pulled a little bit more and voila. It looks and feels exactly like it did when I put it on there. There it is. <clears throat> Alright then. We will uh, untape this one and do the gray wire. The next time we'll talk to you, you'll see there will be two gray wires and one white wire, and we'll pull it all the way down. That's it. This is a great piece of duct tape. I don't know who the manufacturer on this duct tape is. I'd be in the Maybe it says on the inside of the roll. I'll let you know later. But that is uh, that is a two for two right there on a piece of duct tape, and I'm going to try to get a third use out of it. So there's a penny saved, a penny earned. All right, so. All right here we go. I'm gonna pull this one through now. Going to lunch. Going to Gets their server you from. Lunch of Champions. That has like a key sauce.
already ate some. <laughs> I already ate some. Oh, 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 quick here. All right, guys, we're going to punch down some stuff real quick. We're going to punch down that keystone. All right, so what we have is we have, if you look in here, you see the A's and you see the B's. These are for the pair. So if you look at it, we're going to use the B, all right? So that's got the solid orange square and then it's got the half orange, half white square. That's going to go in these two right here, the solid and then the uh, stripe. And then down here, the blue, if you look at the corresponding B over here, shows the blue, which is exactly the same thing as A, but don't worry about that. It's going to be a solid, and it's going to be the stripe. So the stripes go in these four, and this one will be orange, orange stripe, blue, blue stripe, green, green stripe, brown, brown stripe, like the B. So one of the things I did here was I cut this with the razor knife and um, I probably nicked one of the wires who knows so what I did was I just grabbed the uh, I, I cut the blue wire here down this way and then I grabbed these and I just peeled it back that way I knew I didn't nick the end of these wires at all you can do it however you wish to do it but see or sorry that's your choice see or sorry and then what we want to do is we want to split them all up, just like they show in every video you find on YouTube. And we can do this together as a family, or you can just, you know, do it yourself, whichever. So, yep, I'm going to get them all off here. It might be a little bit long in those. Look at all this dust and shit. Somebody's got to clean this up. There's a video online that says that you can do this differently so you don't hurt your fingers. Don't hurt your fingers, guys. Oh, this is also something worth noting. There is, and I've discovered this on YouTube as well, there is no way of telling the difference between, by looking, the difference between 5E or 5 other than what's printed on the cable. This cable doesn't have anything printed. Um, if it was Cat 6, it would have a core that ran through separate all, all these Cat 5 and Cat 5E are loosely wound like these, you know, they're hardly wound. Cat 6 is very tightly wound. You can tell very easily the difference there. That's it. That's what we're doing. So now I get to do this, which by the way, everybody, I've never done before. So Somebody on YouTube said to use the B, that that's what everybody uses nowadays put the instructions on the back of the packet show A. So, because I'm going to let the people who uh, who um, sold me this replace my money when it's wrong, I'm going to go with their diagram. Oh, yes, there. That diagram. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right. So one of the things we ran into is the diagram picture shows a the, the pattern on here doesn't match the pattern of the actual unit itself, and it's hard for you to tell underneath all that stuff. We'll show you. We already got one. We'll show you. We'll put to it here in a minute. But anyway, whatever. It doesn't matter. The point is, it doesn't matter what you do here. It doesn't matter whether or not you follow A. It doesn't matter whether or not you follow B. Whatever you do on this side. The pattern, you can do whatever you want to. That's just copper inside these old colors. Just whatever you do here, make sure that's what you do on the other side of the cable. That way, this cable will be, this piece of copper will be hooked up to the same piece of copper on the other side. That's all it really matters. All right. So what I did was, I didn't punch it down, but I did take my thumbnail and I pushed all these little wires in here because otherwise they'll pop right back out. But you'll notice there's a groove right here. On both sides and there's a groove on the side of this guy here so slide that down that groove I'll make it look more difficult than it actually is because it two seconds go there you go and that's it push it in like that and you probably want to watch your finger and 
apparently all we're supposed to do now is just set. dump them on the floor. The mood will come together. That's a joke, guys. You can laugh whenever you want to. Okay, there we go. This little guy goes here. And this can go just like that. And that's it. Cat 5E Plus. And we'll have this run just like that. You don't have to see the finished product. So what we just did down there was splice this wire um, onto that new Cat 5E. And as you can see, it's the same wire, but uh, this is meant to be for phone lines. So it's two, it's just two of those, like the orange and orange stripe and green and green stripe going into a single block instead of all of these wires going into a single block for the Cat 5E internet line. So we'll have to cut these off and put one of those connectors on this side. All right, and that's it. We're gonna leave it just like that. That's, that's how we're gonna leave it. We put these drawers back in and we're done. See you guys next video. Job well done. This doesn't look like it all tangled up back there. All right, so we got all the wires from downstairs, came back up to the attic, took the slack out of all three. We got the one going this way down into the hole that we found over there that goes into my room. And these other two, we are going to do the same thing we did downstairs and splice them into this wire that they cut over here. It's already cut, so. And that's what runs into the outlets in the office. Enough. Yeah, wire. Yeah, be right. I need that bit of wire. So what I do is I peel out an extra. Oh, it's a little bit hot in here. My fingers are slippery, so I pull off extra like that. What the hell? I think the orange came out. I saw that. It's a good thing I saw it when I did. Mm hmm. Now it's not, I don't have the shielding all the way in there, but I have a feeling that it's going to be perfectly fine, just like it is. What do you think, sir? I think it looks fine. good. That'll be fine, especially for what we're doing, which is that. <laughs> now I could tell they were all nervous. He's going to cut himself. All right. Orange.
orange one right there. It just doesn't want to be in there. Yeah. Still didn't pop right out. Said this doesn't work. Like I think I'll cry a little bit. I'll lose my man card. All right, I'm done in this attic. I'm not sit tying another damn thing here. Here's a zip tie for you. State of the art when I bought this. State of the art. Now it is state of the dust card. So I've got one more phone line cable to splice and cut again. Remember this is the Cat5e line, but it's split into phone lines, two cables each. Same as all the other stuff, and we'll just put one Cat5e line on the end of it, which has a name. I keep forgetting the name of the connector. What's it called? I forget too. It's not something you say every day. You can always put a little thing in there. Yep. On the, on the, with the I'll, I'll put it in. That, yeah. So that's actually me. Yeah, I'll do that. For those of you who don't know, okay. Um, so, nothing's hooked up now on the other side, but I'm still going to leave it hooked up just in case I ever do run a cable here. Mm -hmm. It's already there. Hey, now it's color coded. Blue goes to modem. <laughs> <laughs> Last little face plate to put on. So I'm gonna go check the speed right now. So we have been getting uh, pretty choppy internet. Uh, that's the whole reason that we did all this. We, we were getting pretty choppy internet. Um, they would just jump in and out and in and out and in and out, uh, consistently. So we're like, hey, we need to do something to figure this out. So let's go ahead and test it real quick, see what we get. That is looking pretty solid.
Yep, that's looking good. We're only, so we're paying for 25 up. We're getting 23.7, which is ju it's just about there. But we're also, we're paying 250 down, and we're getting just about 300. So it's looking good. And no bumps at all, straight line. 